Oh, it looks like our last question is from Derek. I was wondering if it is acceptable or even advisable to switch in a day or two a week of the armor building complex while doing easy strength for fat loss to keep up conditioning and toughness gain through the swing challenge that I completed recently. Also, do you see any problems with rowing instead of walking in the easy strength for fat loss program? You know, well, yeah, let me just answer the, the easy strength for fat loss. It would, it, it would be fine, but you're going to have to, I mean, I had that concept two rower. You're going to have to find a pace that is uh, very kind of uh, gentle. But yes, the answer is yes. Stationary bikes, treadmills. Um, the downside of like air, you know, the airdyne and the row is that because you're using so much, the heart rate does get a bit high. So you're going to have to be kind of a row gently, row long kind of attitude here. You know, I don't want you trying to um, destroy yourself on those rows or any any other thing you do. The reason I like walking so much is that most of us naturally know how to tune the walking level down. Uh, I still love Millie Brown's uh, talk test. Um, she wrote Low Stress Fitness decades ago, and she gave us the talk test. Uh, and that's the ability to have a kind of a conversation while while you're rowing. Now, when I'm in my numbers, because of, it's funny when people make fun of me breathing hard and online. Um, I've had lung issues since birth. Uh, I thank God for penicillin, man. But, uh, so I, I breathe like, <laughs> so, so when I'm doing the talk test, I still, hey, how are you today? You know, it's kind of like that. Um, armor building complex to easy strength for fat loss or armor building complex to any program is always a good idea. I just finished the book where armor building complex is the focus. And the ABC is great because it does give you an interesting level of hypertrophy work at the same time working on your metabolic conditioning. Uh, a phrase that Arthur Jones and Ellington Darden, I think, originally came up with, and then they got destroyed and overused by everybody else. But there is a value in the ABC for hypertrophy work, for general conditioning, and the original reason to finish off a kettlebell certification. Um, can you dose it in with uh, easy strength for fat loss? Sure. Um, why don't you do it this way though? Uh, find find a pretty broad day, a wide open day. For, for me, it would be Saturdays generally. And then maybe do 15, 20, maybe more if you like, rounds of the ABC, and then just go for a walk. But don't do the easy strength with it. Just make it separate. And uh, so maybe four days ES for fat loss, and then that one extra day. Uh, my concern is that when you're doing a fat loss program, Sometimes, you know, we're, we're burning the candle a little bit because, you know, if you're doing it the way I recommend, you're fasting, you're drinking a ton of coffee, you're doing the workout, you're going for the walk, and then, you know, you haven't eaten since 6 o'clock the night before, and now it's like 8, 9, 10 in the morning, whatever, or however you work it out, doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I just I just don't want you to get yourself in a, in a situation where you, you you're, you're you're gassing out in the workout, and that's not leaving you any uh, any room to have your body relax enough so it can burn fat. You know, remember that research? It's in the Easy Train for Fat Loss book. It still just makes me laugh. Yeah, the three best ways, the three most efficient ways for a human to lose body fat are walking, sitting, and sleeping. And uh, when I read that study, I just laughed out loud because that's not what you see people doing at gyms. And uh, so uh, if you can get rid of all the crappy carbohydrates out of the American diet and make Americans walk more, uh, I think a lot of the, uh, the, the issues we have with uh, uh, all those related diseases would, would uh, ease up a bit. Uh, good question, Derek, and thank you so much. It's good.